Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Like MRI, and this is a 15-year-old female with complaints of knee pain worse on the left, and we see in this x-ray that the right side, the tibia, looks nice and uniform and normal. Left side, there is something wrong over here. This is a, a bone lesion, and it looks like it has some pretty nice, sharply defined margins, which is favorable, areas of lucency within it, so it's a mixed density bone lesion with what we call sclerosis, the white stuff, and lucency in the middle and they did an MRI just to look at this a little bit better. And on the MRI scan, we can see the same thing here. This is the bone lesion here in the tibia. This is the knee joint, the medial side, inner side. Here's the outside, lateral side. We see a meniscus, another meniscus here. They look nice. Everything looks good with the knee except for this bone lesion. And this is a benign lesion called a non-ossifying fibroma. And this is very, very common, maybe 20 or 30% of Kids have these, and usually they go away with age. As they mature, uh, they will slowly involute and go away, typically. When they're really big, they can have pathologic fractures. Um, but, you know, typically they're small and they go away. This is one of the larger ones. It's, a, you know, bigger than average, rather. And this is a common location that can happen here. Usually they're in the back. They touch the back of the uh, tibia, or it seems to be more often they're up here in the femur. I see them up here. So... Um, if you see a lesion in the back of the tibia or femur that's eccentric, touching the posterior cortex with sharply defined margins and this dark band, which means the sclerotic margins, this is a classic for a non-ossifying fibroma, not a worrisome bone tumor, but a, a benign lesion that will heal spontaneously. And this is just a bread and butter example, a typical look, even though this one is a little bit bigger than usual, but again, eccentric lesion, lobulated margins, sharply defined, the dark band, which means uh, sclerotic margins and the mixed signal intensity within all go along with um, a non-ossifying fibroma and also the lesion is non-expansile is the other thing. So that's it, non-ossifying fibroma, really, really common thing you'll see over and over again and just know that it uh, will hopefully heal up with time. They can do follow-up x-rays and just uh, watch it involute hopefully and that's it. Thank you very much.